still working on the ball joint mod. Okay, so I decided not to put the holes in because uh, I didn't want to have to fill them. They weren't really needed. It was an extra step. So basically, then the question becomes, okay, well, how do you decide exactly where to place it? I mean, left to right is pretty easy, forward and back. I mean, once you have an idea, then you could pretty much guess and be within a sixteenth of an inch or so all the way around. And basically what I did is I just took the CAD drawing and I punched the two holes out so that I can line them up over the arm. And then I just did a little Sharpie marks around the outside there. And then I can just line it up according to the perimeter. And these are a hair narrower than what the drawing was, which is fine. So I just centered in between the lines there. So now I've got pretty good access down here to this hole. So when it's flipped over, you know, I can shove the, the bushing in the, uh, that cup washer and the nut on there. I'll tack one of these plates down and then we'll go mount it up and uh, do the checking. All right, I flipped it up so I don't have to climb up underneath it. That ought to get it uh, close enough for what I need. We'll see. There we go. Right height set at uh, ten and a half inch shock length. So the other end's tightened enough. I have the tube in there set to, so this cranks down and, and gets the nylock on to the threads. Uh, and I, I'm thinking that tube is. Uh, I'm not sure it's factory, but on the factory stuff, you you set it or whatever. And, and this is made to go with the factory uh, bushing. So, well, I may need to cut that tab off. Yeah. this was originally yeah now that I think about it this was originally set when this thing was put in the middle you know when the arm was set in the middle or farther forward or whatever or uh, backwards farther back yeah farther back so it'll it'll go in there and it would work but if you can see that there's a big gap under there and I mean I could, I could still weld it there and call it good but I think it might be better if I just cut the tabs off of these and tack the plates into place. Well, I'll, I'll cut that tab off first and then I can get a better idea how well this sits on and at what angle it sits on. Now, I've already decided I'd kind of like to have it, you know, an eighth inch off center there because of the hole in the axis here. I don't want the plate in that far, so it's got to it's have some tension down there in the rubber anyway, so I'm just going to put it where I want it. Uh, the whole thing is, is to make it hold fore and aft. If I grind it down just a little bit, I, I think it'll sit on there pretty flat. A couple of tacks on there just to hold it in place. There's the rub, is now every time I put it on, I gotta remember to put the damn uh, bar together first. The TC rod. straight that way. It looks pretty nice that way too, so I think I'll disconnect it before I hopefully I won't break the other tack weld. Maybe I can use this as a reference for the other ones. I think I am gonna have to put that side together and Yeah. And I'll have to put this other one, put the other arm on here. I just hope that uh, 
for production sake, you know, when I start doing more of these, I should probably say if, leave myself an out there. the other side. Basically I just laid this piece on the grinder flat on these this angle here and ran it across there a couple times and that is giving me a nice flat spot to uh, anchor to. And if you think about it it needs to be somewhat pushed down on there because it's got to get pulled in so I'm using the solid bushing whereas there'll be a rubber one in there uh, stock. So the rubber one will give a little bit and let this arm move up and down a little bit, not far enough to put that on. But uh, but for me, so when I get that in there and put it on, I've already got a bit of tension on here, okay? And that's because there's no flex where that uh, bushing is. Perpendicular in both planes. Uh, so I'm, I'm loving that. Uh, okay, this one's ready for... Final welding, I think. Let's uh, let's loosen that up just a bit. Oh, I don't remember how far it's supposed to go down. Wow, that, that's really, really nice. I'm tickle pink with that. All right, here's the before of the arm. I'll try to remember to shoot similar shots after. I enjoy MIG welding so much more. Not that I'm a pro at it by any means, but it's way, way easier. So much faster. I've already got three arms done, and uh, hasn't even been 15 minutes, probably. I'm not going to bother recording while I'm shooting, because while I'm welding, because it, uh, it just causes the camera to just... Uh, bounce all over the place picture wise all right here's after the fact went ahead and welded up uh, the gaps in the front and the back there I figure there's no reason to weld that hole, and that'll actually provide some drainage on the backside. So, and no real reason to weld up the holes inside. I don't want it to interfere with. Uh, I guess I could. They're coming out pretty flat, but uh, uh, I welded the outside. They're they're not going to hurt anything. Um, other than they might possibly collect dust. I'll decide. You may see them filled in later. But I did I did go ahead and fill these in. I'll pull the other arms back up and fill them in too. So. Uh, that's the last arm, so a couple minutes to fill those other holes, and then I'll probably start on the upper arms.